Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the French Open starting in 24 hours, we have a last look at the withdrawal list because we've had some players withdraw since the last time we did one of these videos. Some big names are not playing, and some former finalists are also not playing in this event. So let's start with the WTA now, the women's withdrawals. Sophia Kennan, the 2020 finalist, she's out. Svitolina, she is also out. Last year's finalist, Pavlia Chenkova, is out. Von Drusova, who was the finalist back in 2019, is also out. Tormo, she's out. And Towson is also out of this event. So six names out of the French Open for the women. Having a look at the men's list, and there's a lot more players on the men's side that are not playing. Starting with Batista Agu, he's not playing. Berrettini's not playing, who played very well last year, and he is actually the highest ranked player not to be playing the event this year. Shardy, he's also out. Roger Federer, we know, is also out. Kopfer, he's out. Kyrgios, Murray's out. Monfils, he's also pulled out. Nishikori has also pulled out, and Struff, the final player to pull out of this event. So there you have it, a final look at the players that have pulled out. And of course, French Open starts tomorrow, so it's all getting very, very real, and it's very getting very excited. Let me know down in the comments below, though. Do any of those players really pose a threat? I think Tormo and, uh, you know, Berrettini, of course, being a top 10 player. I think those two players might have done something at the French Open this year had they not have been injured. But let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think any of those players would have actually posed a threat had they been healthy and ready to play?